Herman Hollerith was a 19th century inventor. He was 19 years old when he saw an opportunity to revolutionize the census and modernize data processing. The census, an age-old practice, had remained entirely a hands-on process thousands of years later. As the U.S. was nearing its 10th census, Herman was a surveyor of power machinery used in manufacturing. While having dinner with John Saw Billings, a department head at the census office, Herman gained insight into the growing complexity of the census process. The U.S. population had been expanding while each census had become more detail-oriented, making the process a massive undertaking. At this rate, the time took to complete the census was surpass the 10-year cycle. The only solution, Billings explained, was automation. Herman, an aspiring inventor, instantly became captivated with the idea of mechanizing the census. The first step to automate data processing is to translate the information into a machine-readable state. A census simply boils down to a list of facts, such as population count and details relating to individuals and families. Herman's first idea came from the telegraph system that encoded information by punching holes into paper tapes. But this method turned out to be too cumbersome. So he turned to another idea. While taking the train to Michigan, Herman remembered the conductor punching holes into tickets to describe the owner's physical features. He wondered if this technique could apply to the census process. He devised a way to punch holes into rectangular cards. Each card would represent an individual, and the holes would stand in for specific details. Herman was not the first to conceive the idea of the punch card. Others have previously come to similar conclusions. What is certain, he now had a way of translating raw information into machine-readable form. All he now needed was to build a device to tabulate the data. Herman's device was called the Hollerith Electric Tabulating System. It consisted of a card reader and a sorter. With a card in the reader, pins descend. Each pin is connected to a dial. The pins that pass through the holes in the card create closed electrical circuits. Current flows through the circuits, incrementing the connected dials, thus tabulating the details on the card. According to the card's details, a tray then opens on the certain device, indicating where to place the card. As the 1890 census drew near, the census office ordered 56 Hollerith electric tabulating system at an annual cost of $56,000. It proved to be a sound investment. The Hollerith machine soared into action tabulating millions of individuals in a single day a small fraction of the time it had taken to complete previous censuses. Herman would establish a company to assemble and sell his machines. He eventually sold the company to a financial capitalist named Charles Flint. Flint would merge Herman's company with three others to form what would eventually be IBM. By the mid-20th century, IBM was a leader in punch card technologies, which the first electronic computers were adopting. Today, the Hollerith tabulating system has faded into history, but the impact it has made changed the way society now handles large quantities of data.